if you have been feeling blue lately, maybe it's time to hit the great outdoors. Last summer, we went into a break and headed to Sok Sargent. We punish ourselves with every ascent, but we are rewarded with panoramic views. We drove hundreds of miles, negotiated hills, frolicked under the heat of the sun. Hi guys, right now we are riding the canoe papuntas at campsite ng Lake Holon. It reminded us how refreshing the outdoors can be. And as we're now off the Tiboli, where in its navel, the beautiful Lake Holon sits. The excitement unfolds. Poor souls have no idea at all what they are up to. I first went to Lake Holon back in 2014. That was 10 years ago. And I must say, it was love at first sight. Back then, it was as beautiful as it is still today. And I must say that it really lived up to its moniker as the crown jewel of the South. And to my surprise, that year also kicked off what became a habit for me personally, and that is exploring the great outdoors. Technically, my mother mountain was Mount Apo, back in 2013. There's something about the great outdoors that keeps me wanting for more. When forever comes tomorrow, what has been will always be. The open sky calls, the wild air steers, it's the thrill that keeps me yearning, where nature's pulse is pure. So let the world grow in Luckily, it's the same thrill that my friends felt the last time we visited Holon. So after squeezing into our busy schedule, we finally found the time to go. Uh, what do you say about that, right? It's okay. <laughs> 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 Station one at the count. High King's Joy is a quiet kind. The kind that rises with each step, even when the legs grow weary, for there's a peace in the climb that only tired feet can find. We chose the tougher hunter's trail for this climb, embracing the sun's relentless heat as we began winding through mostly open paths. Climb the hills, breath catching in quiet <laughs> pauses. <laughs> it is in these quiet moments in the great outdoors when you will be forced to think, perhaps to evaluate your own existence or to just enjoy the moment. When you're in the great outdoors, you will realize that it's a journey filled with beauty and discovery. Think 
I got the chance And I ain't gonna waste it Each rustle of leaves teaches you lessons of patience and resilience. You will learn that growth often comes through gentle persistence. Your journey on foot makes you appreciate the fleeting moments. The vast sky will humble you. You are just but a tiny soul. This is our time. Well, the journey to the lake shore took four hours on foot. And as we are off to the campsite, oh, what a sight to behold. I have seen the highlight on the hill. And brother, if you cannot feel the joy, the whipper will. Now I feel it. I have seen the blood on the wooden plain. And sister, if you cannot hear the joy, then hear the name. Now I hear it. Restlessness that for ten thousand days has remained. Oh, and as life teaches us, when you're tired, you have to rest or help yourself with some food. Things that are true, the one I wonder most is to be with you. Waking up outdoors is nature's alarm, inviting the soul to dance in the morning light. Sometime during the American period, there was an American pilot uh, and young co-pilot nag, nag crash ilang plane the rain. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere around. So that's why it's called Mount Parker, in honor of the fallen pilot. It's funny how I kept on talking about how still and how beautiful Lake Holon is for me. And yet I've been rating my entire trip. In Lake Holon, there's so much to appreciate. The stillness of its waters, the almost cloudless sky. So I decided I don't want to change that by talking over it. Enjoy my impressions of the crown jewel of the sap.
Looking back, I came to realize that in Holon, there exists a beautiful duality. On one hand, the stillness of nature invites peaceful reflection. And on the other, the same landscape calls for adventure. This balance between serenity and adventure enriches the experience and it reminds us that the great outdoors offer both refuge and adventure. So I pray for you for days to enjoy like this one. Sun warms your face. And the world unfolds its beauty at every turn, inviting you to embrace both stillness and adventure. This is our It's a crazy cosmic journey, I feel. The kind of days where at its end you ask yourselves where to next. This is our time. There's no time to try to walk the dotted line. There's no waiting, there's a tainting.